Wonder Woman may be one of the best films in the whole DCEU, but that doesn't mean there are some mistakes, major gaffes, and some disappearing acts as we relive some of our favorite moments from the hit 2017 film. You My should be ashamed. You should be ashamed. Click subscribe. You'll join our notification squad and be the first to know of new Screen Rant content. What I do is not up to you. Wonder Woman's armor. During the gala at the castle, Wonder Woman wows everyone, and especially Steve, with the backless blue dress she wears. The revealing parts of the dress clearly showcase enough parts of her skin to reveal nothing but a sword hiding underneath. Moments after the dinner party, we see Diana riding off on a horse in full armor as her dress flies off in the wind. Where did the armor come from, and how did she get it on so quickly? The missing armor was clearly a mistake, or Wonder Woman got nude in front of the horse to slip into the armor. Would you say you're a typical example of your sex? Above average. Zipping up. Chemistry is built up early on in Wonder Woman when Diana confronts a naked Steve as he emerges from a large pool of water. After a few minutes, Steve finally decides to dress himself and we can hear the sound of his pants zipping up. Can't say I blame her. The major mistake with this? Zippers on pants weren't really a thing until the mid-1920s, several years after Wonder Woman took place. Some of the earliest forms of zippers may have been around, but it took multiple years before people could zip their pants up or get caught with a fly down. At least the small detail is easy to miss and forget while you enjoy the great dialogue between the characters. Return of the Shield the fight scenes in the village of Veld feature some great action and ways for Wonder Woman to showcase her shield, sword, and lasso of truth all within the battle. At one point, a small tank delivers an explosive blast. During the explosion, Wonder Woman's shield flies through the air and several dozen feet behind her. As our heroes get confronted by a sniper, Wonder Woman suddenly has the shield again and she launches herself through the air and literally demos the whole upper church tower into rubble. With the sniper aiming for her and the other soldiers, she really didn't have enough time to retrieve the shield from her positioning. I'm both frightened and aroused. The power of the hair. We know Wonder Woman has amazing speed, strength, and agility, but where does she get all of the hair magic from? There are multiple scenes in the movie where Wonder Woman engages in combat and has her hair all messed up, only to make it look perfectly done up moments later. We can suspend our disbelief for so long, but the hair changes become a little obvious after a while. We have to wonder if Chief and his excellent hair braiding skills were secretly used to help Wonder Woman do her hair between battles. Otherwise, it's just one mistake we'll have to ignore and lead to the magic of the movies. How long until we reach the war? Sailing problems. Getting across the sea in a boat with an engine is one thing. Going by sail is a whole other story and requires a lot of extra time. You better pray to the god that this wind doesn't pick up! After Steve and Diana leave the hidden island of Themyscira, they go on their journey by sailboat. At some point, they attach themselves to a steamboat, but before that, a number of sailing dynamics don't seem to make sense. There are some scenes where the boat cruises through the water even though the sails are not fully out. Without proper wind catching the sails, there's no way the boat could move so quickly. Maybe they should have taken an invisible jet instead, huh? By ridding this world of you forever. A clean sword. One of Wonder Woman's biggest mistakes in the film is when she assumed Ares was Ludendorff and kills the evil leader with her sword. The sword stabs through his whole body and is actually left in him for multiple minutes until Wonder Woman discovers who the true Ares is. When she retrieves her sword, the weapon is clean and shining like she just bought it from a store. There is not even a drop of blood on the blade. The deep cut into Ludendorff would have had a ton of blood, so much so that the blade should have been covered in it. Thank you very much. A mysterious snowfall. Our first glimpse at the Wonder Woman movie came during a key scene in Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, where Bruce Wayne gifts Diana with a picture from her past. In the picture, we see Diana with a group of soldiers on the battlefield. Once Wonder Woman started filming, the movie needed to recreate the same exact shot, but they missed the mark on some of the details. In Wonder Woman, the recreation features a sunny day with a brighter natural light. In Batman v Superman, the image appears to have a light snow falling and the specks are not just worn air 
areas on the image. And what is the matter with you? This is No Man's Land. Return of the Cloak. When Wonder Woman enters No Man's Land, she has the chance to go up against a full range of firepower as she reveals some of her great skills for the first time in the movie. Before she enters No Man's Land, Diana wears a cloak to cover all her armor. She ditches the cloak and battles her way through No Man's Land with ease. Shortly after the scene, Wonder Woman once again has the cloak on. Did she go all the way back through No Man's Land to retrieve it? It seems like a lot of effort to get the cloak again, and we highly doubt she found an exact replica of the other one. Is there anything else you want to show me? The German Spies one of the more clever action scenes in Wonder Woman involves the alley fight where Steve and Diana must take on a group of spies. The pair works together to make short work of the spies, knocking each one out, deflecting bullets, and delivering a few punchlines along the way. Oh, it's the uh, bad guy convention. What's next for these unconscious spies? Apparently nothing. Steve and Diana leave the scene without any arrests or proper contact to the authorities. Once these spies come to, they can continue on their mission, with just a few extra bruises along the way. As a spy himself, you would think he had some way to turn these guys in. Stay here. I'll go ahead. Missing Debris as Wonder Woman and her crew look to take back the village of Veldt, we are treated to a lot of fast-paced action and quick moments. One of the more exciting parts occurs when Wonder Woman bursts through a window, shattering glass and making her presence known. When the camera cuts to an alternate angle of the shot, look at the debris on the ground. It's all disappeared! And we're not just talking about small pieces of glass. There were multiple shards of wood that came from the window frame. Wonder Woman stands on a clean floor, which looks like it was freshly swept up. Et voilà. Merci, Sammy. Et voilà. Wow. What mistake was the biggest? Do any of them take away from the movie? Are there any that we missed? Let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to Screen Rant on YouTube so you can stay up to date with our awesome videos.